Hi, I'm Sarah Slade, the nurse practitioner at Brim Hall Wellness. Today we're going to be talking about your thyroid. Low thyroid and Hashimoto thyroiditis are common conditions that are occurring more and more in our society. Some of the symptoms that go along with low thyroid are fatigue or feeling sluggish, uh, constipation, dry hair, dry skin, brittle nails. For some women, they'll get irregularities in their menstrual cycle or it'll become more heavy or they could experience infertility. Other patients will notice that they have high cholesterol levels all of a sudden. Others may feel just more irritable and depressed. The way that I treat these two conditions is very holistic and multifactorial. First, I want to check all of the hormones, not just your thyroid. Likely, when I see patients, they'll have other hormone deficiencies which will have caused the thyroid deficiency. So for instance, I want to check your adrenal glands. Is your cortisol working or is it low and sluggish as well? Or what's your testosterone and DHEA or other androgens doing? So I want to make sure all of them are optimally working together. The next thing I want to check are vitamin and mineral deficiencies. Often patients are low in vitamin D, selenium, zinc, iodine, and other iron storage. Um, like ferritin. So I want to check all of these and supplement them with natural supplements and see if we can get your thyroid to boost and work on its own again. The next thing that's really important in thyroid health is dietary and nutritional factors. I'll check to make sure and see if any of my patients are eating dairy or gluten. Those are two food sources that really gunk up and slow down all of our hormones. It's not just a fad to be soy free or gluten free or dairy free. Those actually will cause inflammation in the body. And lastly, we'll discuss if you need to go on thyroid replacement medication. These will sometimes be natural or even synthetic. If you go on thyroid medication, it needs to be handled very delicately. You would think that if you overtreated the thyroid that patients would feel great, but this isn't the case. If we get patients thyroid levels too high, it can mimic them being too low. So you could have the same symptoms being too high or too low. So I want to keep it in an optimal range. And so all of these things need to be balanced intricately together. I hope the information that I've given you today has been helpful. If any of it resonates with you or you feel like you have any of these symptoms, I'd love to sit down and talk with you. Again, I'm Sarah Slade, the nurse practitioner at Brim Hall Wellness Center.